How's it going YouTube? It's Braxton Comics here, and today I'm bringing you guys my Lights One Ruler deck profile post the Duels to Lions sneak peek. And before I actually get into the video, yes I did win the mat, so very happy about that. Anyway, um, I also need to say before I get into the deck profile, this is probably going to be the last of uh, my videos beside my sneak peek pack opening for a long time. I know I usually don't go a long time with posting videos, and I feel just so bad about it. Uh, so until then, I'm going to be bringing you guys probably one of the last videos I do for about a format. So until new challengers, I guess, uh, this is going to be my uh, Lights One Ruler deck profile. Needless to say, uh, this is a 40-card deck. I don't know if I'd pl uh, play c uh, competitively um, because it's still missing some of its... Uh, main features. So I will go into uh, some uh, some discussion video, or, or just some discussion over over the deck. Sorry, it's really late. I'm pretty tired. Uh, but I decided to bring you guys this deck list anyway, so let's get to it. So starting off with the standard Triple Judgment Dragon. Boss monster of the deck, you need to play three of this. Triple Raiden, also pretty pretty standard. Uh, Raiden's like one of the best light sworns out there, I think. And uh, Triple Lumina, Monster Reborn for the deck, need I say more. And uh, Double Lila, MST of the deck. And since this is uh, post Duelist Alliance, uh, I'm playing one Felice, the Light Sworn Archer. Um, I really like Felice, it's pretty decent uh, Light Sworn monster, I will admit. Uh, it is annoying, however, that it can only be summoned by a, a card effect. Uh, so. That is pretty hard to do sometimes, but I think it still works pretty well. Uh, for the names, Jane, Gareth, Aaron, uh, Minerva, and Ryko. I was considering uh, cutting uh, Minerva uh, for Felice, but I ended up cutting Wolf instead. Uh, because I feel like I need more tuners in the deck, and I play one level 6, which I'll get to later. And I feel like I need... A level 3 uh, tuner as well, because a lot of times I'm actually going for uh, Minerva with Lumina, so. Yeah, I do play one rank 3 Xyzes as well in the deck, but I don't get to it too often. And then uh, one Honest, my lovely secret rare. Uh, need I say more about Honest? And then for the Dragon Rulers, uh, Triple Eclipse Wyvern. I don't care what you guys say, Eclipse Wyvern is, is boss of the deck. Uh, the three Dragon Rulers, Redox. I know a lot of people don't give love to Redox, and I don't either. It, it's just it's just good for a one-turn 3,000 defense wall. I don't like that. I just figure just go in and attack for game with the Dragon Rulers. So. With these guys, anyway, because they have the, be uh, the most attack. And then uh, double Light Ray Diablos. I probably bumped this up to three if I didn't play the next card I play in the form of one Black Dragon Collapse Serpent. I only played this as a, another target to uh, banish out Eclipse Wyvern to get our dragons back. So I, I'd really cut this. And then uh, for the last three of the monsters, Triple Necro Gardena, because I'm a scrub who doesn't have Rainbow Karibo or Curry Bandit. Um, there is one playset of the spells that I play in the deck that I will also cut uh, with the Necro Gardena. So that's all the monsters. That is 30 monsters for the entire deck. And then 10 spells. Um... For the spells, Charge of the Light Brigade, obviously it's a searcher. Foolish Burial, I mean, you'd be foolish not to, right? Double Soul Charge, this is another card that I uh, want to cut. Uh, it is actually for uh, Phoenix Wing Blast, because I play uh, in my current build, because, well, this is kind of my current build, I guess you could say, but it's just my IRL build. The the uh, the deck that I actually play test on Wygo Pro uh, consists of one to no Soul Charges, and then... Uh, Charge of the Light Brigade, no Foolish Burial, and then one soul, uh, one soul Charge, and then the Triple Solar Recharge. Draw Power of the deck, so, so good. It's probably one of the best draw powers ever. And then the last three spells in the form of Monster Incarnation. These three I would cut in a heartbeat for uh, Rainbow Creep on Creep Bandit. So, yeah, so all the cards that I would uh, cut if you want to build this deck... Cut the place of uh, Triple Necro Gardena, the Monster Incarnation, uh, one of the Soul Charges, and Foolish Burial, uh, because you need, uh, I find room uh, for traps to be very consistent. 
and those just being three Phoenix Wing Wind Blast and tr uh, three Breakthrough Skill. And those are really the only traps I ever find I need in the deck anyway, so yeah. Uh, that's it for the main deck. That is a 40 card main deck. Uh, for the extra deck, one level 6 Synchro in the form of Goyo Guardian. So happy I was able to get this traded. At the sneak peek, uh, Goyo coming back to 1 is very is very fun. I don't get him off too often, but when I do, it's it's very trollsy. Goyo Guardian has been a favorite Synchro of mine for a long time, and I think it has for a while. And now that it's come back, I think it can still make a, a change on on the current format. Uh, three level sevens in the form of uh, one Black Rose. Can't wait for the Legendary Collection reprint, that's all I'm saying. Um, I also really like Black Rose because if we ever need to nuke the field, uh, this is a good target for all our Dragon Rulers, but especially Blaster. And then double Michael. Uh, you really only need to play two if you're going for competitiveness, but if you're going for a strict budget deck uh, and you want to build it, just uh, build Light Swarms out of just three structure decks, you need to play three of this, unless you have some other... Uh, very consistent cards that can work with lights ones just lying around, I suppose. <laughs> uh, one level 8 in the form of Stardust Spark Dragon. Uh, one level 10 in the form of Leo the Keeper of the Sacred Tree. Um, I, I don't get this off too often. I'm really considering cutting it. Um, and it's for another XC, which I'll show you in a minute. And then the last uh, Synchro I play, which is Star Eater. I love Star Eater so much. One of the best Synchros, I think, ever. And then for the exceeds, one Zen mains. I'm never cutting Zen mains. Just going for it in uh, defense with two Luminas is just too fun. Uh, Star Liege, because he's Star Liege. Uh, Digesto Emerald. I also need one more copy of this. This is what I would. Uh, Leo is what I would cut for the second copy in a heartbeat. If I could just get a second copy, I'd be happy. And I'm very happy, especially because this is the uh, Battle Pack 3 reprint. Uh, number 50, Black Ship of Corn, because sometimes sending monsters to the grave instead of destroying them is way more consistent. Yes, there's a difference for all you noobs out there. Uh, and then 101, Silent Honor Arc. Don't know if I've ever shared this uh, with you guys before, so. Uh, 101. And then the next two uh, are rank 7s, which I'm substituting right now. The first one is of Guide Dragon, the Thunder Charger. This is only a substitute until we get the Draco Sack reprint in the Mega Titans, which is going to be inevitable, I think. And then the next one is number 74, Master Blades. This is a substitute from uh, number 11, Big Eye, because I still don't own Big Eye, which really pisses me off. And I tried so hard to get it at the sneak peek, but no one had one. But Master Blades is still regular. It's like five bucks at lowest, I think. So if you need to play rank seven, this guy is pretty good if you're, you're on a budget. Um, its effect reads that during either player's turn, when a card or effect is activated that targets this face-up card, you can detach and exceed material and then negate the activation and destroy it. Then you can destroy another card on the field. And I believe that uh, that does not target the last uh, bit of the effect. So that's, I think that's really good. At least for, for my sanity. <laughs> and then uh, one rank eight in the form of Divine Dragonite Felgran to finish off the extra deck. So that's it for my, uh, my Light Sworn Ruler deck profile, guys. If uh, there's anything you guys uh, want to comment on this uh, deck list, please do. I'm very sorry that I won't be posting for a few months. It really irritates me. But uh, hopefully I'll be able to record some videos and uh, post them when I get a chance to. Whenever that'll be. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. This is Bryson Comics, signing out.